So she's the very first guest. How do you feel to be there? How do you feel? How do you feel to be the first person? I, I feel so honored. But I'm, I'm glad. I'm excited for this. So yeah, it's very us though. This is the first episode, and we're going to be talking about like New Year resolutions and uh, things to just like let you know what's up for the New Year. How we're going to achieve our plans for the New Year and stuff like that. What we're going to be doing in the year and how people can actually achieve their goals and set goals for themselves and stuff okay. like that. How was 2020 for you? Because 2020 generally was not like, it was not smiling. Um, things happened, like we could not even control things that were happening again. And yeah, but how was it for you? For me, 2020 was, it was an interesting year. It was both the good and the bad. Um, COVID came, which was very early on in the year. And just about, you know, when you're going into a new year, you have plans, you have things you want to do. And yeah, COVID just came out, I was like, oh, I'm just you. <laughs> and it affected everything I've done. But also, I guess, in, in all of the quarantine and all of the COVID season, when we had to lock down, I was also able to do stuff that I wouldn't have on the So. I am, at the end of the day, still grateful for the year. I had beautiful things that still happened to me. Um, and of course, the not so great ones. So I guess it was, it was like a mixed feeling kind of emotion year. Yeah. Okay, well, we set goals for like last year, um, for like last year, 2020. But okay. um, because of what happened and so a lot, a lot of goals were not attainable. So like me, like, it's not in my mind, I thought I'm not going to be where I am now, right now. I thought that I thought I'll be doing stuff, you understand? I thought I'll be maybe like gotten a job or something or really be active with whatever I'm doing. And um, it just looked like, oh, the year just slowed me down. And um, but I'm still grateful. Uh, generally, I think it was just like it was it was not it was not easy. It was not like very high, you understand, but it was not that bad, you understand? So yeah. Yeah. Um that's six twenty. <laughs> so coming into like the new year and stuff like that. Um let me best let me first ask you, do you believe in new year resolutions, writing your journal writing journals? And all those vision boards and stuff like that, you believe in it? Um, I would say I'm in between. Um, for me, it's not about the resolution for me. It's more about, okay, I'm coming into a new year, I want to, just certain things that I've started already that I should continue. Um, so it's not about the, oh, oh what are you going to do this 2021, stuff like that. <laughs> The new year does not start like January 1st. January 1st is not like your new year. Your new year is any day you feel like you want to do it, where you want to start something. It's not that old. January, you have to wait for January 1st. Like yeah, that. because by January, I'm still studying my books. There's almost no time for that, in a sense, like starting something new or something like that. And sometimes, more of the planning would come from December, for example. So that when I'm eventually in the January, I already have what I should be doing. It's not like in January, and I just okay, I don't want to do this year. <laughs> so can I ask you, like, what are your New Year resolutions for this year, for 2021? Like, of course, I'm going to say all of the things I plan to do because I don't know most of them. <laughs> but I think the one thing I know that going into the year, I would continue to work on is every, let's say, um, streamlining what I do. Mm-hmm. as opposed to trying to do everything and anything because yeah. probably because someone is suggesting that I should do it or because I feel like oh I have an interest so I think 2021 I want to streamline my focus I, I really want to focus on certain things and see through um, yeah I don't I don't intend to start anything new but to go deeper into the ones I already have yeah so that's it what do you do? <laughs> Hair consultants for my own company called Wajo, which is going to, I have big plans for that. Hopefully, I can do it. 
wants going to become bigger than it is now. I'm talking about resolutions and stuff like that. What resolutions did you uh, make last year? Were you able to achieve all of that? Okay, because of, because of COVID. <laughs> so there's possibility you will not achieve everything. But like, um, some of the resolutions that you have made, were you able to like achieve them? So I think more of, again, like I said, like I'm not really up for resolutions like digitally writing is stuff that I'm a particular thing. But of course, I have things that I want to do or what I want to achieve. So um, I would always break it down to different aspects of my life, in my life, so my spiritual life. I had goals for that. I wanted to do more. Um, and thankfully, I did not fully reach it <laughs> because some of the plans, <clears throat> as usual, some of the plans did not come through, some of the plans fell off, or I wasn't consistent enough. Mm. Um, and then for my physical stuff, I also like to eat. So exercise is my thing. Um, but of course, because of COVID, like gym clothes, everything so was not COVID. Everything yeah. was because of COVID. That's what, actually, um, yeah, most of it was because of COVID. And in another way, the things I was also able to achieve was also because of COVID. Because we were locked down, so I had more. To I had more time to study. I was only learning languages, Spanish and whatnot. But don't ask me a question in Spanish. I don't know who's learning what you're Spanish. That's good. <laughs> my, my resolution last year, one of it was to, uh, what's the name? Was to get fit too. <laughs> you get, like a little bit snatched. But, <laughs> but. What happened? It was a problem. What, what, what went wrong? Because of what you it wasn't because of COVID, it was because I was lazy. Mm-hmm. It got to a time that I just got tired. I don't know how to do it, like, well, well. It's, you understand? Like, sometimes, it's, I think it's just the way it's mm-hmm. stupid nature right, that when I want to do something, I go very well, fast and stuff like that. Either, and maybe that first month is always, ah, okay, I'm doing this one, I'm doing that. And then next I just get tired. And I think that's how a lot of people used to behave. When they want to start the new year, they start like goals, mad goals. You see them, January, they're achieving everything. When I guess like April, you see them. Stop. Yeah, yeah, you see them in April asking them all their goals and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, moment. <laughs> oh, moment. We don't tire out. <laughs> <laughs> Please, we need to understand. So I, I, it's very hard yeah. to achieve um, yeah, resolutions. Why do you think that it's so hard for people to achieve their resolutions like that? So I think I think it's because most of them we tend to set too high a goal. Mm. Um, for example, I want to I want to write a book now. I I have I have no idea about how to start writing, and then I'm setting a goal at the period of the year that oh I want to write a book. How about we start slowly? I want to take a course about how to write a book. People need to understand that when you are trying to like set goals. Set smaller goals, you understand, for yourself. It's not about, I want to, I want to um, build house, or I want to own a house by December. How do you want to get there? You understand? Are you saving money towards yeah. getting the house? Not just, I want to, I want to get the house. Yeah. Or, not, or you say you want to be, you want to travel abroad, and um, you are still here. You have not gotten a passport and stuff like that. So you, if I, you just write like little, little steps on, on how to get there. And I think that's going to help yeah. you. Like, but some kind of goals that when you just say you want to get fit, it's something that uh, so how like that kind of thing like me <laughs> just use my example. How will I ask that? So yeah. I think I think there's I think there's something that might be good. Might finding a partner. Yeah, someone to be accountable to. After after a while, you will get tired because that actually is gone. But if you have another partner, someone that you are comfortable to, that person can always like keep you going. Okay. And sometimes it means reducing what you do. I was doing the exercise like every day and yeah. morning and night, uh, morning and evening, I do it. Then it just got to a time. <laughs> you. It got to a time. Out, it, yeah. it was in my house when I was going to go and meet you. It was now got to a time was just like, oh, I now slow down to, okay, only in the morning. Sometimes I will not do it in the morning, I'm like, I'll do this in the evening. Then later, I just went to, you know, that means I'm not in the game. <laughs> I was just sleep. One time, I've gone fast. And I'm not, like, now my 2021 goal again is to get speed. <laughs> you understand? You just keep pushing it. A lot of people 
they have goals that they've been pushing like forward. They have goals that they've set since 2015 and they've not achieved them. They're just pushing them, pushing them. I'm serious. So that's not a thing like this now. What would what you advise a person to do? Do you advise to stop putting that in as a goal or the person should just start or something or the person should just forget about it? In, in, in my in my view, that it's not for the person to actually decide if they want that thing. If like, is it, is it something you actually want or are you just doing it for the sake of let somebody else right say now. that I don't, I don't have? Yeah, like, literally. So I would always, I would definitely suggest, first of all, decide if it's something you want. If it's something you're passionate about, you would eventually get to it. So sometimes it might tend to actually scrap up the plan. It might be that that thing you're not so passionate about it, you don't actually want it. So you might as well let it go. And other times, it might require discipline. And to be able to set goals right now is just for you to have like a self-reflection. That's what you're trying to say. Know what you need for yourself. Yeah. Like, know that, okay, you actually yeah. need this thing. That's why I want to set it up because of what I'm just saying, ah, yeah, what's the name? New Year resolution. Yeah, that's how yeah. yeah. you don't want to set your own. Yeah. So, know what fits you. Yeah. So, do you yeah. believe that writing it down too helps? Like, writing down your goals and stuff like that so that you'll be picking it and coming back to your book and stuff? Yeah, yeah. So, I think a few years ago, I would say, oh, I don't really, I don't think it's necessary. But I realized that when I actually write stuff down, I have something to go back to. And it could be a note on your phone. Um, or you can actually like use your hand and pen <laughs> and write it down. And I think that is important because the, the, this 2020 just turned on us like what happened. And if it's something you're just like, oh, head knowledge, I want to do this thing, you could easily have forgotten because so many other things happened. But if you've written it down, you have something to refer back to. Something you can go and check and say, oh, this is what I said, how far have I gone? What am I doing that is not working? And stuff like that. How to achieve mm-hmm. all your things. It's not about just saying it. It's just about keeping them. So how do you think that? Yeah. What advice, maybe like two or three, that you can give to people to actually know how to keep their, this thing, their uh-huh. goals and work towards them so that they can be successful in the new year? I think three things I would say for anybody that wants to achieve a certain for this new year, one would be either write it down, mm-hmm. pen it down, <laughs> ink it down, <laughs> <it> down <laughs> ink it down, or any of those things. Um, and I think the second thing would be to have someone to be accountable. Accountability is very important. It's it, when you are going off the real person will be able to call your attention to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the third thing would be to be disciplined. And one thing I, I, I want people to understand is that um, you cannot, it's not, it's not necessary that you achieve everything at once, you understand? You may plan to do like 10 things this 2021 and you were just able to achieve five. Don't beat yourself up, you understand? Just, <laughs> it's true, don't beat yourself up. Just um, know that, okay, you did something. Clap for yourself. All these little to achieve, little to success and stuff like that. Clap for yourself and don't set goals that you cannot achieve. You understand? Don't set goals that are unrealistic. <laughs> I said unrealistic would also determine on the person. So there's something that might be unrealistic to a 12 year old, but will be realistic for a 25 year old. Mm-hmm. So if you actually, in that sense, know yourself and know what you're capable of doing, that should. That should influence the kind of goals you're setting. Mm-hmm. So if you don't like enjoy, enjoy, do I eat? I want, I want to enjoy like kind of person. Like you're not the also, 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 also kind. Don't go and set goals that you have to also, also, also because at the end of the day you want you. So understanding yourself and allowing that to influence the kind of decisions or goals you want to set. I think that's good. Mm-hmm. So know where you are coming from. Know where you are. You understand? And yeah. And yeah. what's the name? Give yourself breaks and stuff like that. Even, uh, I think when you do things too much, sometimes you lose yourself trying to like achieve. You know some people, when you're trying to do something, because like, okay, this is visual 2021. Now <laughs> this is visual 2020. I want to achieve stuff. I want to do all these things. You find yourself losing out of things. Give yourself time to like grow and um, 
Yes. What do you think? Do you have any other things to say? Um, I think it's just a reminder that life is a journey. And it's not... Sometimes we get so lost in the wanting to get that we forget to actually just enjoy the process. Yeah. Um, there's, there's someone on my IG that I, I have to give them credit against. Is there is Dimitri stories. Um, it was one that said something about understanding that if you, if you really accept the life of joy, sometimes when you lose things, you will be fine with it. Of course, it will pain, it will sting, and all of that. But you will be okay knowing that it's a journey. So that means if I don't achieve it now, I can achieve it. Embrace it. Embrace your struggles. Embrace your um. Your failures, you understand, learn from them, you understand, learn from them. Don't try to like repeat the same mistakes again. The same mistake that you made in 2020 that did not allow you to achieve 2020 goals, don't allow them to follow you into 2021. And even your resolution can come, your resolution can come at any of the moments. So I see that a resolution is not working out. I can modify it because of whatever life is now so Because yeah. the world is constantly changing. Events are constantly happening. And that will affect how we live or how we make plans, for example. So, yeah. I like that point. I like the point that you can modify something because it's not just good to have just like a rigid plan for life, you understand? Yeah. And, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's, so be able to change your plans, be able to like update it, delete some things from it, and add to it. The world will leave you blind. Thank you so much for coming as our first guest. Um, yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor. It's a pleasure. I am I am really excited as well for what lies ahead for you. Thank you. Um I want you what you plan to do with the show so, Wishing you all the best. Cheering you on. Thank you. See, Joy is my she's one of my biggest supporters in this life and I'm very grateful for her. I am like, okay, she must be part of the first. <laughs> Uh, true. I'm actually saying the word 2021 is going to be way better than 2020. 2020 was just amen, amen and amen to that. Amen, amen and amen, amen to that. that. Amen. 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 Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week on Metro Chat. <laughs>